Hey folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a hitch, the actual mounting that goes onto your vehicle. Not just a ball that attaches to the, or to the receiver. This is the receiver, this is the ball assembly, it's three different size balls, got a 2 and 5 16 inch and 7 eighths and a 2 inch ball. Uh, most common one is a 2 inch. This is for bigger trailers and that's for smaller trailers. Um, so I'm going to show you how to mount this on. This is a bolt-on um, hitch. Let's see, let me see if I can get out far enough. Do you see there's the whole thing right there? And it goes attached underneath your vehicle. Okay, comes um, with all the hardware. As you can see, it's three bolts. One, two, three on each side. And then you have two bolts that go up underneath here right up under here to go into your bumper so um, this is a 10,000 pound 1,000 pound 12,000 1,200 pounds and I'll explain what that means this is a 1,500 truck that I'm installing this on it's a quarter ton truck it is only meant to carry 10,000 pounds max weight you never want to exceed 80% of the max weight because if you do you're gonna start having problems with your transmission even your engine start bogging down your transmission will start getting messed up um, or you won't be able to stop the trailer that you're carrying um, so what this is the, the hitch itself it's rated for 10,000 pounds gross trailer. Now mind you, 80%, so that's really 8,000 pounds. On the tongue weight, eh, that doesn't really matter. Maybe six, 700 pounds, maybe 800 pounds. Now the 12,000 comes in, as you can read, it says weight distribution. That means you must have a weight distribution system on the trailer that you're carrying to be able to hold that 12,000 pounds or 80% of that. Same thing here. This is on the tongue weight. This is the weight going present down on the tongue here, present straight down onto your vehicle. And then these are the pounds that you are pulling. So think of it as pushing down and pulling. Okay? So you're pulling 10,000 pounds, but you're pushing down downwards 1,200. So that's what those numbers mean. Make sure that your vehicle, you check your vehicle, you check the, the mountain for your hitch, and the ball itself. Um, this one's gone, but usually it'll tell you what the tri ball will hold. The inch and seven eighths trailer, inch and seven eighths trailer with a tongue that has a ball for an inch and seven eighths will only carry 2,000 pounds or 200 on the tongue. Okay? That's the inch and seven eighths ball. Now the rest of it is gone because it's been on here for years. But I'm sure this is like a 12,000, 15,000, which is the bigger ball. And then your two inch ball is probably your 10, 12. All right, so you need uh, your different size sockets. Uh, every vehicle is gonna be a little different. Um, even the new bolts that I have are different from the ones that were factory installed on here. So make sure you got the right um, tools. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is this right here. This is the pin that attaches here, which holds this part in there. And as you can see, there's holes on the top so that when I want to use the inch and seven eighths ball, there's holes there. When I want to use the two inch ball or the inch and five seven eighths ball, as you can see, the holes will line up with the pin. Now that pin holds this, the tongue, or the, the receiver. Now this is the receiver. It will hold the hitch ball onto the frame itself. Okay? So that's what the pin is for. The pin goes through here. And this one that I have, it's a little rusted out, but I'll clean it up, put it back on there. It has, actually has a lock. 
some of them just have a little cotter pin that goes right through here and just holds the pin from falling out, popping out. Okay, so let's get to the bottom of the vehicle. All right, so on the bottom of the vehicle, um, you may have to remove your spare tire if you have a spare tire back here on the bottom. Uh, as you can see, my hitch is rotten out, and that is probably from pulling my boat over to the lake. And what it is is the, the hitch here has a hole. Well, it's a tube, and that tube has been holding water and rusting out the bottom of my hitch here. Um, See that, way. see that tube over there it's a hollow tube and then water gets in there from when I put the boat in the lake and then it just sits right there on this bottom piece and it's just been rotting away because it has been having standing water sitting there okay so on this one I have two bolts here which tie on to my bumper itself one on each side and then there is three bolts right here as you can see there is one here on my hand right there on that finger and there's another one there and the third one is right there and there's three of those on each side you just undo those three bolts they may have to soak them down with some WD-40 or some kind of a, um, rust remover spray or any of that just to get them loose because they probably will be really tight in there um, on this side, I've already taken off two of the bolts. I'm going to take the third one out. Um, and they are in there pretty tight. Um, years of pulling and tugging that it has tightened those bolts really good. Okay, so we'll take those loose and then we'll go on to the next. Alright folks, so there's the old hitch down off of the truck. Get ready to install the new one new daddy going in old one out see the rust see the holes right in there i mean that's that's not safe to pull anything with that all right folks so everything's bolted down you see all the bolts new bolts down there i painted the bolts black so they won't rust up there's the hitch um this one the two bolts that tied right there underneath the bumper are not needed for this um for this specific hitch but everything's perfect fit there it is it's got my old ball in there ball receiver it's done um i uh, hope you find this helpful give it a like share Subscribe. Thanks. Keep YouTubing.